look at who's back on YouTube. Uh, that was the longest that I've been off YouTube since I started my channel. I think I was gone for like, I don't know, six months, a month. I think I was gone for a month. Um, wasn't my intention. I still want to make one video a week, whether it's a vlog or a stroll in the woods or whatever it is. That's what I'm still doing. I just had to take a little bit of time off. I had way too much life stuff going on. Life gets in the way. I just had way too much. I just had way too much stuff going on in my life for me to be making videos. So now things are kind of starting to ease up a little bit. There's still a lot going on, um, but I really want to make these videos again. So yeah, so look forward to uh, seeing more videos coming out of my channel. I don't know, I just wanted to say that I guess. And uh, with that being said, let's start the vlog. Oh, and by the way, this footage is actually kind of older footage. I probably did this, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or something. It was footage that I wanted to put into a vlog. And I just, like I said, life got in the way and I just never had the time to put it together. So, sat down today, put it together. Now let's start the vlog. Oh, and the outro of this vlog was also filmed a couple weeks ago, so time has passed. Uh, I guess this is future Paul. Now, let's start the vlog. Good morning. Me and Katie are out here on a hike, and if you guys are liking the vlog, go ahead and take the like button out on a date, and after having a fantastic time, and the like button calls you, just ignore its calls. Okay, I cheated on my diet, and then I was like, oh, I need to get up in the morning and go on a big hike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also wearing my new hiking boots Brittany got me for Christmas. We're christening them, I guess, on this hike. Yeah, I need to go to like Walmart and try to get like some good socks that like I'll actually be wearing with the shoes. Ooh, I got good socks too. Here, I'll show you. <gasps> Boom. Brittany, Brittany got me these too. They're hiking socks. Although my shoes are supposed to be waterproof. So I've done part of this hike before, but where Katie's taken us, uh, I guess what you said, you got lost one time and that's where you went? Yeah, I just got lost for like 12 hours one day out here. On <laughs> she did. Paul, I asked Paul where I should go and he told me to go out here and it'd be easy. And I got lost <laughs> all day. And in that process, I found this really pretty water spot. And so that's where we're going today. And I'm clocking it to see how many miles we're gonna go. Oh yeah, cause I have no idea. For all I know, it's a mile. It could be 10 miles. I don't know distance, you know? And in the distance is uh, the Forest Hill Bridge. I've done many hikes in this area. If you want to check them out, go check it out on the channel. I was going to say, this is totally the kind of trail too, where it's like, <laughs> see a mountain lion or a bear. When I, um, well, this is where we're going to end up. I saw a bear print. Oh, wow. Um, I could send you the picture. You can put it in the video. Well, the day I got lost, but. Well, now you Oh, when I got lost, this is to some old ladies. And uh, they gave me uh, granola bars and water. <laughs> and they said, you should not go out into the wilderness without any supplies. And that's like what my brother said. It was just a real light, like two and a half mile loop. Like I thought I was just gonna be out here for like an hour. Yeah, always, oh. Yeah, always use all trails. Even if you're going on a hike that you think is gonna be like a mile long, easy. Oh, but they did say this part of the trail when I talked to the old ladies. They did say some woman was out here one day like running by herself with headphones in and it was like really early in the morning and a mountain lion was like up above and jumped down and killed her. Jesus, on this trail? On this trail, this part of the trail too. Oh my God. Yeah, so they were like, if you are if you ever come out here by yourself, like make sure you're making a lot of noise, like make yourself known. Yeah, well that's why I always carry bear spray with me. I've got a fog horn right here. And then I usually carry a knife, which I just now realized I did not bring with me. We watched 127 hours one uh -huh. where the guy got his arm crushed by a rock oh my God. and he had to cut his arm yeah. off. And I told Brittany, I was like, every time I go hiking now, I got to make sure I have a knife with me. So you can always cut your arm off. So I can cut my arm off if I have to. I and like I forgot my will, it. My will to live isn't that strong. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be if you were in that situation. Yeah. That died? Her tongue was ripped completely out of her I know mouth. all about this, I'll oh, tell you. Really? Yeah, Zizloff Pass incident or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So, so pretty much it was nine hikers. Wow, okay. They all were experienced hikers, right? Yeah, they were some of the, they were pretty much the top hikers around. Okay. The reason they were doing this hike was because it was gonna make them officially the top of the top. Okay, they're, they're getting their black belt basically. 
they did the hike it's in the snow it's in russia so it must be a pretty secluded area too if yeah not very many people are doing it. so they're extremely experienced uh -huh. and they camp one night at this spot they were supposed to meet up with some other people like the next day they didn't show up but because they were so experienced they were like oh well they're fine they're wow. a decent amount of time went by and then they finally said let's go look for these people okay so they went looking for them uh -huh. and they initially found some of the bodies uh -huh. and the uh where they were camping their tent site and all that stuff the tent was like clawed open from the inside though it was it was torn open by a knife from the inside which is weird um so why wouldn't they have just opened yeah, so it was below 40 degrees in the snow. They, most of them left barefoot or with one shoe on. One of the guys, his head was bashed in. Wow. Like it looked like repeated blunt force trauma. They found the rest of the bodies and some of their chests were caved in. Some of their clothing had radiation on it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Sounds like some weird alien. Yeah, the woman, her eyes were ripped out. Her tongue was ripped oh out. God. Her chest was caved in from blood force trauma. This is even more interesting. They weren't running. Okay. When they looked at the gate of their footprints, they were, they were casually walking. Ooh, probably with whoever was taking them. Right? Maybe. So, like an alien comes in there and says, let's go. Well, and they didn't find any other footprints. It was just their footprints. Uh -huh. So they ripped their, so they ripped the tent from the inside, took off in below 40 degree temperatures, walking. walking towards like a forest one of the trees that the body was found the branches were what? ripped off and there were like claw marks uh -huh. and one of the people his hands were messed up like he tried to frantically climb the tree wow. to get away from whatever was or it's almost like one of those things like maybe somebody didn't come and take them but you know in the movies like in bird box how people were just like killing themselves because they were like seeing something else yeah oh okay that is different See, this is how we got so lost though originally. Robbie Point, that's not the Robbie Point Trail. Yeah, it's And this somebody way. that I talked to after we eventually were lost, one of the people we talked to said there's an upper Robbie Point and a lower Robbie Point. Went down this way and that's kind of how the lost began. This wasn't here last time I was here. Hey, Bigfoot. We got more uh, Bigfoot activity here. So Katie's not 100% sure what the, we're not sure what this trail is, but it looks like Tamaru Bar maybe? Because we're headed, why is my camera screwing up? We're heading this way. More Bigfoot activity. It was the sheriff that got off work early and he worked in a wooded area. In, it was the Cascade Mountains that he was hiking, wherever those are at. It was in like a desolate part of the mountains. And then he ended up like, yeah, seeing a Bigfoot and a Bigfoot looked at him. And then he actually was like not freaked out about it. He went to check it out, but he couldn't find oh any God. signs of it. And then a huge tree fell. And then he's like, wow. okay, that's weird. And then another tree fell like, in a different direction. It down. So he was like, okay. So he started to like sprint out of there. Oh, yeah. And he said the whole time he was sprinting, there were just trees falling in the forest. Oh. He said he didn't think he was going to make it out. And then he ran into a deer in this clearing and the deer wasn't spooked by him uh -huh. the deer was looking behind him and he said the deer oh looked God, freaked out that. and the deer took off running and then the guy kept running and then he yeah. finally made it to his car this is the part that i'm always this like is i would cool. just bring a chair and just sit out here this yeah i like cool. this And then what was interesting was that guy, the deputy sheriff, went back to his office mm -hmm. and told the sheriff what happened. And the sheriff literally was like, oh yeah, we get reports like that all the time. What? And he was just like, this is literally like the desolate wilderness. Like this happens, like this is the wild. Wow. And he was like, you can report it, but like they're not gonna find anything. I find this guy's story oh, super- Oh God. Oh my God, I think I hear something. <laughs> oh my God. We're sitting here talking about Bigfoot. How interesting. What an interesting hike this is. I know. And I just stumbled upon it. When I had put it in my GPS to try to get back to the car, this is where it took me. Me and Katie have seen this twice now. Looks like bear scat. I don't know though. There's no bear, but it does look like a huge pile of poop. But this, where we're going is where I saw the bear print the first time I was here. 
chance that the bear would be going down to the water. That other guy that was running went first, so I guess. We should, if we run into that guy, we should ask him what this trail... Well, I guess we know, right? At Tamaru or whatever. We were just talking about that. Yeah, I wouldn't feel safe running by myself out here. And, and I ran the into... bear prints that I saw. Yeah, bear prints, bear prints, cougar prints, signs out here that say dangerous animals, hike at your own discretion. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I wonder, what do you think this was for? I don't know. Some guy said to me it was something to have to do with the dam that they were going to build. Maybe Jake and Sarah know. <laughs> and Sally. Look at those are bullet holes, huh? Uh huh. Like people probably come out here and shoot them, I guess. Would you guys happen to know the name of this trail? Yes, we do. <laughs> Tamaru. So we Tamaru. were right. Yeah. It is that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah we start at Ravi, the Murphy's Gate up yes. there. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. We did accomplish Tamaru Bar. Tamaru. All right, Katie said we made it. What do you think, Kate? 15 minutes? Yeah. What the heck? That's the second time it's just flown away. I think I'm going to send it back to DJI. There's something wrong with this. Or there's something wrong with the pilot. <laughs> All right, we found my drone. I don't know what happened. I'm going to end up sending it back to DJI. There's something wrong with this thing. It just did whatever it wanted to do, and I wasn't even that far away from it, and it crashed. And of course, it looks just like all these rocks. I reviewed the footage to find landmarks to see, and luckily that worked. All right, we're finishing up the hike. This was Robbie Point to Tamaru Bar. Bar. Yeah. I'm on my way home. <laughs> Hiking out of here. <laughs> That's gonna do it. And for any of those subscribers that are with me for the hikes and the music when I put over the hikes, stuff like that, don't worry, I am gonna do more of those. Uh, I've got some planned in the future, so those are gonna happen. I did send my drone uh, back, so hopefully I'm getting a new drone. Once I get the drone, we'll get the hikes going with the music. I really enjoy making those. Captain Lee quote to end the vlog, I'm madder than a pissed on chicken. If you guys have any Captain Lee quotes, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll read it at the end of the vlog and give you credit for it. See you guys whenever I feel like it. I've been scoring, cheap does, bore me, blah blah, you bore me, caution, morning. I've been scoring, I've been scoring.